Hi everyone, welcome to Diana's Table. Today I want to talk to you about traditional Korean table setting versus the modern day one that we usually use every day. The traditional table setting, as you can see, has the brass uh, tableware. And let me talk to you more in detail once we have the food in. I use my hand for the magic show. So as you can see, I have already put the food in and we usually have the soup. Here I'm serving seaweed soup on the right hand side. And the left hand side is where we have the rice. This is uh, the same regular rule applies to this day. One of the interesting thing is that olden times, the rice bowl was really huge. I mean, this is really enough for at least two people. I guess um, because we didn't really have that much banchan and too many things to eat, a lot of people ate a lot more rice than we do now. So we have the rice soup, and then we have gochujang and soy sauce. Instead of having like salt and pepper at the, on the table, we would always serve gochujang and soy sauce uh, seasoned to your own personal taste. Then I have the uh, two kinds of kimchi, the napa kimchi and the kakdugi and pickle. These are sort of the, what I would call the basic table setting, basic banchan. And then if you want to go beyond just this, you would have either fish or beef. We call this kuchop bansang, which is meaning that you actually have nine different kinds of food items on the table. In the olden days, the, the king was served above 12. So he would get like 18 to even 20 uh, dishes. Usually in a, a regular family, uh, nine is regular and normal amount of food that you would have on the table. Even having nine these days is a big hassle because, you know, who has the time to make all this food, right? So nowadays, we really reduce the number of banchan and also the main dish to make the meals simpler and easier to prepare. But I did want to show you how we used to do it the olden days. Going over to the modern day, this is the way we eat at home on a daily basis. It's the same kind of banchan and same menu. But as you can see, I use mix and match of dishes and china because first of all, taking care of brass is really difficult. And also it's easier to serve things ceramic ware. And then plus I don't really like to have a, you know, one a uniform set. So I use different kinds of china dishes that I like. One difference to uh, the traditional way and the modern way is that you notice that I don't have soy sauce and gochujang on the table because we try to eat low sodium food all the time. But not only that, it, you know, everything comes seasoned, well seasoned, so you don't really need uh, extra soy sauce. And one important thing is that we also have a serving plate so that we can sh put our food onto the my own little serving plate, and so we can share the food without really um, putting our chopsticks into the same dish, right? From the tradition to the modern, there are two things that still remains the same. As I said, the position of the rice and the soup is still right-hand side soup, left-hand side rice. In terms of the number of dishes that you have on the table, it doesn't really matter anymore. You can have two, five, you know, whatever you feel like cooking that day. Position of the spoon and the chopstick has also become vertical as opposed to the horizontal way we used to have in the tradition. Long time ago, uh, traditionally, the elders in the house would get their own little uh, table filled with all these dishes. And they were usually served on a uh, round table. So we would have the uh, chopsticks and the spoon onto horizontally. Whereas now, because we're sitting at a dining table situation, we also put that into consideration and serve uh, our food and spoon and chopsticks vertically. It's just a little bit simplified, same number of food, different uh, presentation, 
makes it a little bit easier to take care of. Uh, we are not as bound by you know, the number of dishes that you have to have each time. I think it just makes it easier and fun and better to uh, eat it this way. I hope that this really helped you to understand why when you go to a Korean restaurant, there are just so many banchan, and to understand when you watch Korean dramas, how we eat the food at the table, maybe even better understand Korean culture and Korean food culture in particular. And next week, I would like to talk to you about protocol for using the chopsticks and spoons in the right way. So see you next week.